this video is supposed to come up on Sunday, but it's actually going to come up on Monday. So happy Motivation Monday. Get the work done. Let your work speak for you, not your words. Now that we have breakfast out of the way, I'm dicing up some onions, putting them in my crock pot. Gracie's over there playing while I'm cooking. This is going to be pulled pork. So this is my pork butt. It has been washed thoroughly and drained. As you can see, I am adding oil so that all of my seasonings that I will be using will stick. So make sure you're adding oil to the front and the back of your pork butt. I'm adding salt pepper, oregano, thyme. I'm also adding garlic powder and adobo. Once you get all the seasonings on the front and do the same thing for the back, you can then put it in your crock pot on your bed of onions and add onions to the top of it. And I almost forgot, you need to add brown sugar to the front and the back of it. Make sure you're getting in the crevices of it. So I'm not done. I also add broth to it. This is a beef broth that I'm adding. I use the powder, put the water in, and then put that in. I also add a little bit more water to bring it up to medium as far as the level. I don't cover the whole thing because I will count on the steam to do the rest as well as adding coca-cola later now i'm headed outdoors this is something i have been procrastinating about and this is something i've been praying about that i can overcome so that's what i will be working on um, in getting myself together first i'm doing a walk see of the chickens to see what i need to get done also over at the garden area to see what I need to get done, but I'll show you that for a whole nother day. We're not going to do a full garden walkthrough because that is going to be a huge clean up and I have to add more um, ground cover. However, I will show you this. I was able to get some okra seeds off of my okra plant and also some green beans. We're still growing, you guys. Okay, so what I'm about to do right now is 
fill in as much of the soil that has holes inside of the chicken coop, well, the run area where the chickens are every day, not where they sleep, but where they are running around every day. And it, it has a lot of craters in it from them digging and scratching, and also from when it pours rain. Pine shavings in that bag that I had that I'm gonna put into this coop and I'm also gonna put some into the um, nesting area. I don't have enough, so I have to go out to try to supply, but I locked my keys in my car, and my husband has the other set, and he went to go get um, his brother's lawnmower so that he can mow the grass. So I have to wait for him to come back in order to go to the store. So I'm gonna get done whatever I can get done right now until he gets here and I can go and get the rest of the materials that I need. So, stay with me as I go through what I just told you. I had a feeling one of them would escape. seating area back since my husband mowed the lawn a few weeks ago this is how slack I have been and I had to really go into deep conversation with God about that you know not having that procrastination part of my life um, be so prevalent in my face but the works that I do speak for me and speak for him in all that he has provided my family with having this property um i just had a lot going on and got really really overwhelmed so i'm gonna try to get this done as fast as i can as far as getting the chair and the table back under the gazebo because my phone keeps running hot y'all So as you can see, my husband is back and he's already started mowing by the time I came around to record a little bit of it. He's gotten, you know, maybe a fourth of it done. <laughs> so he's moving pretty fast on that little red lawnmower. Um, not as fast as if we were able to use our zero turn, but hey, we're blessed and thankful that his brother allowed him to use it so we could get this grass cut. to the house finally y'all um so 
I'm about to take these things out of the car. I got two, um, two packs of the shavings right here. These shavings used to be $5. Then they went up after 2020 to around $8.99. Now they're back down to $5.49. Went to the grocery store because we went shopping yesterday, but I forgot to get buns for our barbecue that I'm making. Chips because they love to have chips with it and some something to make coleslaw with as well. Um, I picked these up from... Mind you, these just these two things right here by itself, because I had gotten everything and realized I didn't have this. Went back in, bought these two items, and it was almost eleven dollars, ten ninety-five for two items. So I got these from Lowe's. A pack of seventy-five landscape pins for the garden. I'm just gonna throw those over there. So now let me get parked back in the front of the house and get these uh, shavings put in so that I can go finish cooking. And that's where I will most likely end my day with my meal. Now, the barbecue probably won't be done for a while. so. This video is supposed to come up on Sunday, but it's actually gonna come up on Monday. So, happy Motivation Monday. Get the work done. Let your work speak for you, not your words. So y'all, I decided I would go ahead and get, I decided to go ahead and finish adding what I need to add, which is soda, a Coca-Cola to my pulled pork that I'm making, and also go ahead and start the rest of my meal before I go outside. Maybe by then the sun will start to go down. It won't be as hot out there. So let me get washed up and get started. So I was trying to assemble everything that I needed before I got started, and I still don't think I have everything. Okay, so to my pulled pork, which is not gonna be ready for a while, we may in actually end up eating something else. I hope not though, because I really had the taste for this. So as you can see, it's still cooking, but it's getting soft. See how it's falling off the bone right here? Look at this, but it's not done yet. I do have my thermometer, so I will be checking it. But for now, I'm just gonna pull this off and let it cook a whole lot more easier. I'm also going to add the Coca-Cola to it. And it's really nothing to making this. I haven't made it in a while um, because if you let my husband, he'll wanna eat pulled pork all the time but he kind of laid off of it. So that gave me a break from it. So what I'm going to do now is add this Coca-Cola. And this is just like the little small bottle. And that's going to cook down and it's going to flavor it. So I don't have to add any more sugar. I added brown sugar to the meat when I was doing it. Look at that bone, look at that. Look at that meat just falling off the bone. I wanna taste it so bad, but y'all, it ain't cooked all the way through. But it's a good thing when you can do a crock pot meal because you can get it together, set it, and pretty much forget it. So I did a little cheat code when it came to the coleslaw. I had the prepackaged bag and just added mayo, my um, sugar, pepper, and also a little bit of vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar. And that was it for the coleslaw. And then I sat in the refrigerator. I chopped up my onions and bell peppers for my baked beans. 
before I put the um, baked beans in, I do add meat to it as I'm cooking it down. Add your salt and your pepper, and that's pretty much it. Well, I do add garlic powder as well and some pepper flakes. And then I add my beans to it, and that's pretty much it for my baked beans. And also brown sugar, one cup. about to go put out the rest of the pine shavings into the chicken run and into the nesting box. This morning I was so clear a lot as I need to see the horizon and the far. Excuses were too far. Our zero turn is broken. Which is why we used the red one from his brother. So we're gonna take half of this and put in the run, the other half in the coop. It's not that big of an area. And as you can see, look at my collard greens. I had these collard greens last year and I had them somewhere else and I moved them over here and they were doing way better over here. Look how big they are. So the garden not going to do today. I'll do that in a different video. I have to space myself, otherwise I will become overwhelmed. Look at the sunflower, still sunflowering. So today we're just going to do the chicken run in the coop, and then on a different day I will do. I have rabbits over there behind the white fence, so we'll do the rabbits as well. And on a different day. Or maybe the same day, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that pump work into the pool there so I can put some chemicals in it. So let's get started. People knew her by her will to make it whatever she put her mind to late night hours up the hill serving coffee to strangers talking about revenue she kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone but she knew it must rain before it grows she kept dreaming of the day butterflies survive the wheel even though she down and never showed you know it holds they say seven to eight chickens or whatever i had eight when i first had them as little ones but and i actually raised them in my sunroof up there until it was they were old enough to come out here and so this door opens up it has a tray where you can pull out and clean it if you were interested in getting one of these little coops and they have air filtration so this is all done. The pulled pork, I have drained a lot of the juice off. I left some because no one wants dry barbecue. And then this is a homemade barbecue sauce um, that my mother-in-law made his father's recipe. So let me tell you, 
This, let me taste it without, so I can see if I have to. I wash my hands. Oh my goodness. It don't even need the sauce. It don't even need the sauce. So this is just gonna bring it up a whole nother level. I'm not even gonna put a lot on there. And it's cold, that's why it's so, so thick. So, I use this to get the juices off of it. And now we're gonna get this stirred up. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Even though eight hours is a long time, y'all, it give you time to do stuff. Okay, so I am going to fix me some of this lovely pulled pork here. Is my pulled pork and these Luma chips so y'all can see my pulled pork sandwich right here gotta get that bite so y'all forget the mess that's behind me okay this is a good sandwich Let's get that bite so I can end this video and edit. <gasps> it's falling apart. Not falling apart, but hold on. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's how I like my sandwich. It's messy. Mm. Now you see how I got the name Tommy Bites. Look at this sandwich. Oh. Mmm. I'm going to take my chips. Uh-oh. 
I got paper towels right there. I don't know why I did that. If you ain't never dip your chip in some beans, missing out. But not just any beans. You gotta make them how I make them, okay? I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm about to mess up my hands all over again. I'm gonna finish this here. And see if my husband ready to eat so I can fix his plate. Fix your man plate, okay? And I'll see y'all in the next video. It's been good hanging out with y'all. I'm gonna have more homesteading content than I've been doing. I'm still gonna give you some news that you can use, but I wanna show you. I want my actions to speak louder than my words. That's the new slogan. Make your actions speak louder than your words. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the very best you that you could be when you are cloud spread God's love. Why? Because God is love and that is what he would want you to do. So peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tiny Bites TV Homestead. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on